Hello, welcome. Hope you're having an amazing day. Today, I want to share with you how you can create a quick search functionality for your CMS or collection that you have in your Wix website. And there's actually a way to do it without using code, and that's using the Wix app. But the only problem about using the Wix app is that it has a lot of glitches. Sometimes it will randomly stop working. So with this uh, option I'm going to share with you, it's actually much better because then you have a little bit more control of what to show and it will also give you the drop down where you can have different results so let me show you on this example that i created uh, we're gonna try something like let's say chocolate chip right so as you can see it gives me uh two results because i have chocolate here and then chocolate right here now if i just type vegan will just show me that option but I can also type let's say just mousse which is part of the word and it will still give me that result uh, the other thing is like let's say I type something that it's not available in the collection like let's say uh, let's say carpet right it will give me this no found result and what you can do is uh, you can turn this into a button that will say no result request something like that, right? So you can actually make it interactive so people can request. So this functionality, besides just searching, you can take it a little step further and then uh, offer other options or alternatives. So an example, if you're doing like uh, products, or if you have listings, whatever it is, uh, properties, so then you can have people uh, request something for you. Uh, so again, this is just a button, but I'll show you how I did everything. It's gonna be super simple. So let's get started. <clears throat> so for this example, we're going to do something. Um, assuming that you already have your own website and assuming that you already have a collection, then you can skip these steps. But if this is your first time uh, working with collections, then this is going to be very useful. We're going to add a quick um, live box. So we're going to go to uh, right here actually I'm gonna add the CMS and then this can also work for Wix Studio so it doesn't matter if you already have a Wix Studio account this will work this the same exact way so we added our CMS so when we go here we're gonna do dynamic pages and we're gonna add a dynamic page that already exists in the system this is um, like stock collection that Wix already have and it's very easy just to kind of speed up the process. But once we go to the adding the code and all the stuff, I'll go slow down. I'll go a little slower in that part. So we're going to add this to our collection. So it will create the dynamic page for us. And it will add the elements that we need in the collection. So once we have this right here, then we can just, uh, as you can see, we have the same example I showed you earlier. We have the name, servings short description and once we have all of these elements all we have to do is close this we're gonna go to a page here that we're gonna use for the search we're gonna have an empty page uh, again if you already have a home page or a search uh, that you want to use then this is just going to be replacing that once you're on the page that you need to work on uh, let's add a background here gonna do something like this we're just gonna do cake and we can just use this one right here so I'm starting almost like from scratch so that way you see there's nothing missing uh, that would do different and then that's it once you do this part make sure that you turn on the developer mode so you can see certain elements that probably be hitting in the in the tool element so if you already have it on then no worries but if not once you turn it on you should be able to see this stuff right here you can minimize this and this right here and now when we go here you'll see now you have this new button right here called input we're gonna use the text input for this and let's find just a design that looks a little bit more like a search so we can just use this one right here and then right here, we're going to change this to just search uh, by name or number of servants. 
So you can, again, change it to anything depending on what you're using this for. Um, but that's pretty much it on that part. Then we're going to go into our elements right here. And we're going to go to list. And then we're going to go to blank repeaters. And then we can just drag this here. Once you have your repeater, you can adjust the, the, the size. And then we can just do something like this. So it's right there. And then we can just drag it under our search right there. And then what we want to do is we want to click on our keyword shift and then you can group these two elements. The reason why you want to group them is so they, anytime you expand and uh, go from a bigger screen to a smaller screen, everything aligns correctly. And then we can just make this a little bigger so it's like the same size um, right there. And then we can just align our search here. Once we do this, we want to add a small text to our repeater. So that way it's going to show what we need. So we can just add this text right here. We're going to do something like weeks medium. And then we can do something like a 15 size. Uh, so actually let's do 17. So it's not too small. And then we can attach this first item right here and expand a little more right there. So this will be the name of the title or the name of your recipe or your property or whatever you're going to use it for. Uh, we can actually duplicate this and then just change the text type. So we're going to do display and then we can do something like 14. Uh, let's actually do 13 because this will be like our description. So we can just have it like that. And we can just name it uh, description. CMS, doesn't matter. This text is not gonna be visible. It's more for the editor. So you see what you're doing. And this can be just uh, name CMS. And then we're now gonna add a small button right here. So we go to button and then we can use this one right here and you can just change the icon. So it's going to be just, you can just do view, use this one right here and to make sure the icon's a little bigger you can just customize this, make a little bigger right there and change it to We'll give it a color in the background we can just leave it as like a little gray like that so we have our icon right there so that will be our button and now we're going to add our data set so we're going to go here on the cms we're going to add a content element and then data set uh, what I wanna, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also repeat all this process on Wix Studio, so you'll see uh, the difference. So if you're working on Wix Studio, feel free to skip to that part. Uh, so we're gonna connect this to our recipes collection, and then I want to make sure this is very uh, um, important to know is that I only want to show four results on my drop down. So whenever I'm typing, I only want to show a max four results. So even if there's say 20 different results, I only want to show four. Uh, you can of course increase it as how many you want. This is just for aesthetics. So I'm just keeping it as four, four results. Uh, so once I have that, all I have to do is connect the name. So I'm going to connect the recipe name to recipes data set. And this is going to be the name. And right here on the description, I'm going to connect it to uh, also recipes that I set and we can do a short description. So on the short description, I'm going to add some descriptions that I already have. Can I can just uh, copy and paste. So I'm going to find my other collection that I already have. So I'm going to select all of this and I'm just going to do clear. Yes. And then, so I'm going to show you something really cool. You can actually select, if you have the same number of elements, 
in let's say Excel document or another collection, you can actually do something like this. One second. So all you have to do is again, just select this and paste all of the elements. Super cool. <laughs> I think this is really cool because if you have a lot of elements, instead of you having to copy and paste each of them, you can select your other collection. So for example, if this was another collection, I can just drag, do right click, copy, and then go to this section right here, and then clear this first, and then just paste that. So again, that's a quick uh, tip that hopefully helps you in the future. Um, but let's continue here. So we're gonna move this. So now we have our element. And the next thing is gonna be making sure that we expand this right here. And we're gonna make our repeater collapse. Okay, so that's it. Now we're gonna add our code right here. And the code is gonna give us a few errors. So let me copy the code. And the errors that it's giving us is because we need to change the ID field on this element right here. So this is called data set one right now, but we wanna change it to the name of your data set right here. So if your data set or your collection name has a different one, you can just change it right here. So this is where you're gonna place your collection name, this uh, collection data set, sorry, not name. So collection data set. So right now it's data set one. So this is where you'll change it. And then you will remove those three errors. Then the next error we have is the search bar home. So it's this one right here. So all you have to do is just search bar home. And just remember one thing is a scan, uh, case sensitive. So if you uh, type it on a lowercase or capital case, it will, um, it will give you an error. And then we have the repeater search, which is this one. So we can just change it to repeater search. And then it should go away, perfect. And now we need one element, which is not found. And this is what I was mentioning earlier, is you can use a button so you can redirect people or uh, you can use just a text. Whatever is easy for you, you can use a text or you can use a button. So let's say we're going to use a button for this example. And then we can just change it to not found. And then make sure it's on red. And that's it. This one, all we have to do is just... Um, change the text ID to not found. So here this text can say anything. So don't think because I put not found here, um, it's just, we wanted to say that, okay? But the ID can be anything. So you can just be text, so you can just change it there. And that's it. And then not found, Let's see why it's, not. Okay, there is. For some reason, you have to, after you change the ID, click under the little box, because if you just go directly, sometimes the error is still there. I don't know why. Uh, one last thing you wanna do is you wanna keep hidden this one right here. And uh, the code is actually super simple. As you can see here, this is our input that we're, where we're gonna type the text, and then you just have the next element, uh, element sorry which are the short description, the level, and then uh, servings. So in your collection, all you have to do is just replace these items for what you have. And if you have more elements that you wanna add, you just wanna copy this whole thing and duplicate it. So we're gonna go into our collection now, and I can show you where you're gonna get those descriptions. So first we're gonna start with a short description. So if you click here and then edit, this is your field ID and you have to copy exactly the way it is here. Because if this is a capital case and this is lowercase, and then on your code is different, it's not gonna work. So this has to match your code. Then the name on this one, we have it as title. And then I believe we have the other one, which is servings. 
So let's go back here and make sure we have it. So we have title. So that's for the name. We have short description. Uh, level, I don't know if I have level here. Let me check. I might have it, but let me see. Because I think maybe I just added it earlier and I didn't remove it. So yeah, I don't think I have level. Oh yeah, I do have level. Yeah, so um, if you want to look for what type of uh, recipe, right? so we can do intermediate, beginner, and advanced. So that's it. Now let's test our code. So we can just preview. Let me move it this way here. So we're just going to go here and click preview. Once we preview, now we can type something like, let's say, chocolate chip, and it's right there. And then uh, if I type advanced, right? So that's an advanced uh, recipe. And of course, uh, what you can also do on your repeater, because uh, if somebody looks for advanced level, then you will of course have to have it inside your, whatever you put inside the repeater, that's what it's gonna show. So if you want them to be able to see what the results are, then you can have the level, uh, number of servings, things like that, so people know exactly what it is. One last thing you wanna make sure you do is you wanna connect your button. So this button needs to be connected to the actual detail page. Okay, and that's it. So why you wanna connect it to the detail page? Because the result is gonna take them there. So let's click here. Uh, the other thing, let me go here actually. Uh, the other thing you can do is instead of showing not found, you can have something like view all results and then turn into a button so they can see all the page with their results. So you can just be creative on that part. Let me go to the page here, and that way we can actually test this. So if I type, let's say, mousse, there you go. And now if I go here, it will take me to that specific page. Cool. Hopefully this video helps you. See you in the next video.